Hi guys, this is Steve from the fitness training company, uh, your Mars gym manager for Slough. We are doing the October exercise of the month and the exercise is the deadlift. And we can do the deadlifts in uh, a variety of ways, which I'm gonna go through with you in a moment. Um, I'll do a demonstration first and then go through some key points and then give you some um, options of how you can adapt it or progress it. So the first thing with deadlift, soft knees, core engaged, bending forward, knees are slightly soft, arms in front, long spine through the tailbone up towards your neck. Coming out nice and tall again, shoulders roll back, shoulder blades engaged. So we can do this with a bar. As you can see, there's no weight on the bar at the moment, but you can add weight to it if you want to add it uh, more resistance and make it more of a strength exercise. You have your hands slightly wider than your hips, as you can see there. Legs are hip width apart. And, and again, I'll do a few repetitions here. keeping the bar close to your knees. You can also use dumbbells, have the hands again close to your body and the legs will be slightly soft again and you go down and the weights are close to your legs so you're not overstretching. At the Mars gym we have kettlebells as well so you could use a kettlebell again depending on the weight you want to use exactly the same As you can see, there's a variety of, of weights that you can use, and um, again, different weights will add to whether it's a, a strength exercise where you limit the reps to four to eight. If you want to go to more of a uh, toning, we're going to go eight to 12, or if we're going to go more of an endurance, we're going to go 12 to 20 repetitions. We can also do a single leg deadlift. So again, soft knee in the supporting leg, and you take one foot behind, and then you lift it up and then you extend the back of the leg right up into the hamstring, into your glutes. Arms relax in front of you and then come back. Yeah, same again if I go front of you. And then control on the way back. You could also have again a weight or a kettlebell in the opposite hand to the leg that's moving. So with this exercise, you're gonna be strengthening your hamstrings, a little bit in your calf muscles. If you're doing the single leg that I just showed you there, you'll be definitely working into your glutes as well, but you've got to make sure you're stretching through the top part of your hamstrings there. And if you're doing both legs, it's also going to be involving the lower part of your spine and your core. That's it for the October exercise of the month. And any questions or queries, please email me on steve.douse at fm.com. Have a good day.